everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we are looking at a beautiful, legendary blue 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 58 inch flat top platinum sleeper. And great news, this truck is on the ground, ready to roll and available now. And in fact, we have multiple units with this exact same color and spec on the ground, ready to roll and available now. In addition to this legendary blue 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 58 inch flat top platinum sleeper, we also have a very similar spec in a legendary red 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 72 inch flat top platinum sleeper and a legendary black 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 78 inch high roof platinum sleeper. Again, multiple units of each of these configurations on the ground, ready to roll and available now. Uh, common specs on these trucks, they are all specced with a platinum interior. They're all powered by a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine, 565 horsepower and that ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, 20, 50 pound feet of torque. They're all paired to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. All of them have the California certified clean idle sticker as well as carb certification from the factory. All of them are set up on Goodyear tires with the uh, Peterbilt oval all aluminum wheels. All of them have a 355 gear ratio. All of them have great owner operator specs. And uh, some of the last of the Mohicans, as you all know, Peterbilt stopped making the 389 new from the factory in December. And we do have some of these units on the ground, ready to roll, literally, like I said, some of the last of the Mohicans, some of the last new Peterbilt 389s new from the factory, and they can be yours now. Um, great owner operator specs on these trucks. We talked about the common specs. All of them are gonna have the seven inch chrome dual exhaust. So up top, here's a look at the 60 inch miter tips with the seven inch tips. Love the old school miter tip look. We uh, also have the uh, upgraded polished stainless steel uh, muffler fairing on there. And the chrome finish over the elbows. The seven inch exhaust is the largest you can get from the factory. There's a look underneath to your Y pipe showing this is a true dual exhaust as well as your Kissling battery disconnect switch. On the front of the battery, we've also got your battery jumper terminals right there. Up top, we've got five bullet style marker lights on the roof. If you want to go with seven or nine or 13 marker lights, we can certainly do that for you. Of course, there's no horns on the roof, so we've added a train horn at no charge to you. Um, we've got the uh, radio antenna right there on the roof, but we can also relocate that for you as well if you don't like it there. Obviously this one is bent, so we'll get that fixed before the new owner takes it home. We've also got the uh, factory stainless steel visor on this truck. Of course, that characteristic and timeless split windshield on the 389 that we know and love so well. I love that we went with the old school moto mirrors on these trucks. I love the old school look on the moto mirrors. They're a smaller mirror than the uh, standard mirror or the aerodynamic mirror, but I think the reflection on them is the best on these for the 389. Uh, that may just be my mind playing tricks with me because the border on these windows is uh, around these mirrors is uh, much smaller. So in my opinion, it, it, it makes it look like it has a crisper reflection. But again, that may just be my mind playing tricks with me. Of course, we've got your eight inch spot mirror below that. The motor mirrors are motorized and uh, both the moto mirror as well as your spot mirror are heated. You can also see that we've got the additional turn signals mounted right here on the mirror. Plenty of options to customize those. We can swap them out with clear lenses for this uh, four inch circular style. If you wanna do a uh, watermelon style light or those uh, angled um, LED ones, we can do that for you as well. Plenty of customization options. Also can add the, uh, the larger drop to where it lowers that, that turn signal as well. 
15 inch premium stainless steel breathers. These are the nicest breathers you can get from the factory. A uh, characteristic of the 389 that is going away with the 589 is our stamped oval grill that you're gonna have here on the breathers as well as your uh, front grill. That is being replaced on the 589 with a really cool rectangular grill mesh, which is a nod to the uh, history and legacy of the classic style Peterbilt with the 379 and 359 before that having a rectangular grill mesh. So um, cool characteristic on the 389, but again, also a cool um, nod to the past on the 589. Now this is a legendary blue paint. Sun's a little bit higher in the day than I would like to be filming, but that's okay. We still have a great opportunity to try and showcase this paint as much as we can. These legendary paints are really, really nice paints. Often get questions, uh, what are my favorite colors? I don't know if I really have a favorite. There's certainly ones that I like a lot and certain some that I'm not a huge fan of, but I will say legendary blue is one of the best colors to show the uh, flake in the paint. Again, um, this legendary paint, you can only get it new from the factory on a Peterbilt. And it's actually a three stage paint with glass in it. And that's what really separates it from the standard Exalta two stage uh, paint, which there are plenty of excellent Exalta two stage paints. Um, but man, these legendary, legendary colors, man, when you see them, really, really impressive. Let's see if we can open up this door a little bit and show a little bit of the depth on there. Got to close it harder than that, Travis. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, legendary blue is definitely one of the legendary colors that's going to show the flake. Awesome. Got Goodyear tires all the way around. Kind of interesting setup on this. Um, all aluminum wheels with the Peterbilt ovals. We've got Goodyear Low Pro 22.5s in the front and Goodyear 11R 22.5s in the rear. Kind of went over why someone might have offset tires in the legendary red 72 inch flat top video. I don't think we need to beat a dead horse there, but let's say the offset tire thing is not your thing and you want all matching uh, tires, we can do that. If you wanna go all Low Pro 22s, we got you. If you wanna go all 11R 22.5s, we got you. You wanna go all Low Pro 24.5s or all 11R 11R 24.5s. We have all those options available. Let's say you want a different offset, uh, offset option, which I'm working on for another customer. We can do that for you as well. Plenty of customization. That is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to these trucks, which I will take a moment to uh, just notate You've heard me say before, a brand new 389 from the factory is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Throw some hubs and lugs on it. Man, she is ready to go to work and look incredible doing so. But we do uh, really have a, uh, we're really fortunate in the facilities that we have here with our own rig up shop and body shop on site. We can customize these trucks as much or as little as you want. If you wanna take them as is and put them to work, they are ready to work. But if you want us to do any type of customization, we have plenty of parts available uh, and in stock and plenty of vendors that we work with to uh, make a dream become your reality. I'd love to help you out with that. So back into the factory specs, stainless steel cover over the def tank. We've got a hundred gallon fuel tank over here on the driver's side and 135 gallon fuel tank on the passenger side. Those are the locking fuel caps and you've got the step boxes on both fuel tanks. So you've got deck plate access on both sides, which means you've got those three grab handles right there on the back of the sleeper. If those grab handles are not your style, you want a little bit cleaner look, we can certainly remove them for you. It's not a problem and finish it off professionally, repainting whenever we need to. And of course, we've got six flush mounted load lights on the back of the sleeper. That's the most flush mounted load lights that you can get on the back of the sleeper for a 389. Um, you can always add bracket mounted ones. We've got two different load light switches on these trucks. So one for these primary six. And if you add any type of dual revolution light or any type of additional lighting, we have an extra switch and 10 feet of wiring underneath the sleeper here on these trucks. Also got the dark tent uh, rear window on these trucks. It is not the sliding window, it's the solid window, which I kind of prefer. I think it looks cleaner. 
in my opinion, and just one less thing that you have to worry about possibly leaking uh, later on down the road. Not that they really leak as much as, uh, say, some older model ones, uh, where it maybe, I don't wanna say notorious for, but a few of them had some issues with, but um, yeah, that single solid window, you don't have to worry about it leaking like a sliding window. Again, deck plate axis on both sides. This one, we've got the pogo stick and Z-bar uh, mounted a little bit further back. If you need it mounted uh, flush up against the back of the sleeper, even further back, we can change that for you. Not a problem. Hodge built 27 inch stainless steel quarter fenders. I really like these quarter fenders. They're not as large as the 30 inch, certainly larger than the 20 inch uh, Hodge belt ones that come with a triangle mount. Um, these are the uh, old school looking tube mount. I really like that old school tube mount design for these trucks. Um, even though these are not the 304 mirror finish, in terms of general upkeep, in terms of keeping them looking clean, they're easier to keep looking clean as opposed to that 304 mirror finish, which we really need to work a little bit to polish them out. These ones might not buff out as bright as the 304 mirror finish, but um, in terms of general upkeep, I'd say it's probably a little bit easier to uh, keep them looking sharp. Um, sure, I mentioned it. We've got an air ride front suspension on these trucks and a low air leaf rear suspension and the rear. Got a Holland FW35 fifth wheel. That's the most popular fifth wheel in the industry with an air slide as well as the fifth wheel ramps. If you don't want the fifth wheel ramps, we're happy to remove them for you. Just look at your air ride in the rear. Stainless steel mud flap hangers. They are spring loaded, so you don't have to worry about damaging them. We went with the uh, four inch round backup and tail lights mounted below the frame. So if you do any type of custom lighting, makes it very easy to switch that out. Again, 135 gallon fuel tank over here on the uh, passenger side. Now that we are in the shade, I guess you could say. <laughs> Give you an opportunity to see what this legendary blue paint looks like in the shade. We've seen it in the sunlight and you can see it's really got a lot of depth and changes a lot based upon direct sunlight as well as shade right there. I love the contrast with the blue, the legendary blue and that red Peterbilt emblem, I think that contrasts very, very nicely. And of course up front, is there a more beautiful front end to a truck out there? I do not think so. Truly, in my opinion, the most beautiful looking truck out there, that classic characteristic long nose Pete hood just sitting there out in front such a beautiful, timeless design. We did go with the 18-inch uh, Texas-style chrome bumper. That is the largest bumper that you can get from the factory. Went with the factory tow pin holes, holes as well. So you've got your tow pins in the uh, sleeper storage. And again, here's another look at our characteristic stainless steel stamped oval grill. That stainless steel grill is gonna protect your radiator. That way if you hit any type of debris, your radiator is gonna be protected. Even if you get some sort of cosmetic damage, again, that radiator is gonna be protected. You can worry about fixing those cosmetic issues later once you finish your load. Start looking at the interior of this truck. Full-size sleeper door. It does not have the uh, chrome cover on the vent, which means it's got that legendary paint, which in my opinion, looks kind of cool. If you want a chrome cover over the vent door, we can make that happen for you too. Full size sleeper door makes it very easy to uh, load your items both uh, above the mattress and in your sleeper storage underneath without having to go through the cab with your items. Of course, you got your toe pins, your hazard triangles, 
and your fire extinguisher are right there. Before we take a look inside the cab, I do want to reiterate these trucks come from the factory with the California certified clean idle sticker right here on the door, as well as the CARB certification from the factory. Um, I cannot stress this enough. Uh, the EPA regulations uh, that are changing, especially in California, is making uh, things difficult. Um, if you register or domicile your truck in California, you need to have this California certified clean idle sticker as well as the CARB certification. Um, we pretty much cannot sell new Peterbilts into California this year because California is limiting the number of class eight uh, diesel tractors that are going into the state. And I'm pretty sure those have all been long spoken for a long time ago. So if you are a California customer, you either register or domicile into California. You go into California a lot, this is really gonna make things a whole lot easier for you. Let's say you're a fleet owner and you don't go into California with this truck, but let's say any one of your trucks go into California, all your new trucks are gonna have to have this sticker uh, and very likely the CARB certification on there. Um, CARB certification, is gonna increase your uh, after treatment warranty a bit. So all new Peterbilts with a Cummins engine are gonna have a two year, 250,000 mile warranty on the engine and after treatment. The CARB certification increases your after treatment warranty to five years, 350,000 miles. This is a cost of about $3,500 that we've already paid to the factory. So again, even if you're never gonna go into California, um, if you're going to sell this truck to someone in the future that is going to operate in California or be in a state that has to adhere to the uh, CARB regulations, you've just opened up your customer base significantly. Um, let's say you're going to buy an extended warranty on the truck. Well, $3,500 of extended warranty cost has already been applied to this truck. So any type of extended warranty that you add through Cummins on the engine and after treatment, again, is about $3,500 cheaper than it would be if we did not have that CARB certification. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the sleeper or inside the cabin sleeper of this truck. Stamped weight on this truck from the factory is 17,811 pounds. I'm trying to cover up the sun because it's getting washed out. But yeah, 17,811 pounds stamped weight from the factory. Pretty lightweight class eight truck, if you ask me. The, uh, we've got these trucks with the national premium leather air ride seats. I really like these seats. You've heard me say that I love the Sears Atlas 80 with the ultra leather. I absolutely do love those seats, but there are some compromises that you make with each seat. So with these national premium leather air ride seats, the leather is not as soft as the ultra leather, but in my opinion, it holds up to wear and tear better than the ultra leather. It also has better uh, uh, ergonomic bolstering. So your side bolstering both here on your back and on the seat is really going to uh, um, have a lot better bolstering than what the, uh, the uh, Sears Atlas 80 does. In addition to that, you actually have more air controls to customize your seating on these natural premium seats compared to the Sears Atlas 80. So again, both great seats, both have their perks and drawbacks to them. So of course we've got our all new digital dash. We've got the premium leather wrap steering wheel. Of course with your steering wheel mounted cruise control, audio and Bluetooth controls and your digital dash controls right there. Um, it is not a full rosewood dash, but if you do want us to convert it to full rosewood, we'd be happy to do that. Of course, you wanna get crazy and paint the dash. We can do that as well. All gauges in the B panel. You've got 12 gauges and eight air switches. PTO switch from the factory. So if you are gonna add a PTO to this truck, it's already got the switch on there, which is a very nice feature to have. Um, of course, your fifth or your uh, 
uh, airbag dump for your drive axles, your fifth wheel lock to slide the fifth wheel, and your inner axle drive line lock. You've got three additional air switches and one blank switch on here as well. So if we add things like a dump switch to the front airbags on the steer axle, uh, a trailer uh, air dump, or a uh, lift axle to your trailer, it's nice to have those additional air switches. CB radio from the factory. We've got the mic stored away in the glove box right now. When you do the CB radio from the factory, you do get this nice plastic housing on here as well. We also spec these trucks with the additional speaker and the headliner also. All rubber floor in the cab and sleeper for this truck. We will still throw in the Peterbilt rubber all season floor mats, even though this is already a rubber floor. There's a look at your Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. And this does have a chrome shifter. Here's a look at the 58 inch platinum sleeper with the rear window. These trucks were specced with the premium mattress as well, so it's not just the base model mattress, which is very nice to have. Even though this is the smaller 58 inch sleeper, you have plenty of storage options up here in the headliner. Got a little spot for your microwave. More storage right here and here. And I love that they gave us two little closets on both sides with these cool little vinyl doors. You do have a coat hanger in each of these closets. So just really nice versatile use of the space. I love the Peterbilt emblems right there on those little vinyl closet doors. Just a cool detail that they have on these trucks. Of course, your rear window. And then you've got this curtain that I've got rolled up. You can roll that down, block everything out. Again, full-size door. You can open it from the inside or the outside. It makes it very easy to load your items in and out, as well as get some fresh air. Got a couple cup holders at the top of the bed and a recessed storage box right here that has kind of a rubber cushion on top as well. Rear AC controls, which is nice to have on these sleepers. Don't know if I've ever showed you underneath a 58 inch mattress. But lifting it up, very easy. Again, dual air shocks on these mattresses. Peterbilt is very proud of the fact that if you want a door open or something, or a closet or a cabinet open, it's gonna stay open. If you want it closed, it's gonna stay closed. And with those dual air shocks, it's not gonna wear out and uh, just be falling down on you when you don't want it to. Here's your rear AC system, your speakers, Again, fire extinguisher, hazard triangles, and tow pins. And you do get a nice little recessed storage box right here under the mattress that you can put loose items in without having to lift up the mattress. Closing it, very easy, just goes down like that. And here's a look at our beautiful Legacy Cab. Such an awesome, classic, timeless design. Really nice spec to these trucks. And of course, right there is the best view in trucking. Love our classic split windshield view. All you gotta do is point that Peterbilt wing on the horizon and keep on trucking. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood and check out the heartbeat of this truck. <laughs> Again, Peterbilt is the only class eight manufacturer to offer an all aluminum hood, which means very easy to open this hood one handed while I'm filming. And there's a look at our beautiful 
Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. You got 565 horsepower and that oh, 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 2050 pound feet of torque. You've heard me say before that Cummins does a really nice job with the badges. These uh, X15 Performance Series engine do you get the uh, black diamond plated look with the brushed aluminum lettering, which I think really nicely fits the uh, characteristic of this, uh, of this engine. Got the uh, Davco 382 upgraded fuel water separator, remote lube points. We've got Teflon inserts in the springs. So you don't have to worry about lubing those. And of course that ride like a cloud air ride front suspension. And of course, we've got disc brakes on the front of this truck. Specced with a removable bug, bug screen. Closing the hood is very easy. I can do that one-handed, again, while I'm filming. Again, that means you and your drivers are gonna be much more likely to open up that hood, do their pre-trip inspections, find any minor issues before they become major ones. Don't worry, we'll close the latch on the other side before we park this rig. But there's a look at our beautiful legendary blue 2024 Peterbilt 389 with 58 inch flat top platinum sleeper. And again, this truck is on the ground, ready to roll, and available now. And again, in fact, we have multiple units of this exact same color, sleeper size, and spec. We also have multiple units of the legendary red 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 72 inch flat top platinum sleeper, and multiple units of the legendary black 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 78 inch high roof sleeper. Again, multiple units of each of those specs. These are truly some of the last new Peterbilt 389s that you're gonna be able to get new from the factory. We got some great deals on them. We also have some fantastic deals on some 2024 Peterbilt 579 Ultralofts, also with Cummins engines and automated transmissions. Uh, if you'd like to put your name on any one of these trucks or if you'd like to order something custom, I'd love to help you out. We are taking orders for the all new 589 as well as the 579 and 567. Give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Centers, Dallas Peterbilt. My cell phone is 817-504-7220. Hablo Espanol, puede llamarme a 817-504-7220. Or come see us at Rush Truck Centers, Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. Of course, I always wanna thank everyone in the trucking and transportation industry. Y'all truly are the backbone of our country and keep us running when we need you the most. I've started to notice quite an uptick in our business and I hope that the uh, same is for all of you out there on the road. Times have been tough and uh, we hope things are finally uh, starting to improve for y'all. We're gonna do the best that we can to honor you, honor you uh, support you, and show our appreciation for you. I look forward to hearing from you. Drive safe.